Welcome to Spidell's California Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane, and this week we're covering AB 194, which was signed as part of the 2022-2023 budget deal addressing PPP conformity, first-time penalty abatement, and other provisions. We'll be covering all of the budget bills at the upcoming quarterly tax update webinar, which is live on July 19th. You can sign up for the full quarterly tax series or just this session at caltax.com under the webinars tab. AB 194 extends California's partial conformity to the Federal Treatment of Paycheck Protection Program loan forgiveness to apply to PPP loans approved after March 2021. The 25% gross receipts reduction threshold still applies to deduct expenses paid with these forgiven loans. Taxpayers who already filed 2021 tax returns and included the PPP loan forgiveness as taxable COD income should file amended returns. Although AB 194 was signed over two weeks ago, the FTB has not yet updated its Paycheck Protection Program FAQs on their website to reflect this change. Only taxpayers that can demonstrate a 25% gross receipts reduction threshold can deduct expenses paid with forgiven PPP loan amounts on their California returns. To qualify, a business has to demonstrate at least a 25% reduction in gross receipts in any 2020 calendar quarter compared to the comparable 2019 calendar quarter. If they were in business for all of 2019, they can also compare calendar year 2019 to calendar year 2020. Even though we're preparing 2021 returns, we still measure 2020 gross receipts against 2019. This is true even if the loan was made, approved, or forgiven in 2021. The qualifications for the second draw PPP loans use the same test. This means that if a business qualified for the second draw PPP loan, they automatically qualify to deduct expenses paid with forgiven second draw PPP loans on their California return. AB 194 also enacts a first-time late filing or late payment penalty abatement program for individual taxpayers. This new provision applies to requests for abatement made for taxable years beginning on or after January 1, 2022. Taxpayers are eligible if they have not previously been required to file a California personal income tax return or have not previously been granted a first-time penalty abatement. Only individuals who have filed all returns and paid or entered into an installment agreement to pay all outstanding personal income tax liabilities, other than the late filing penalty, qualify for the first-time penalty abatement. Unlike the federal first-time abatement program, California penalty abatement is only available once in a lifetime rather than once every four years. Requests can be made either orally or in writing, and abatement only applies to a timeliness penalty related to one taxable year. It appears that the taxpayer will have to first request and be rejected for a reasonable cause penalty abatement, but will have to wait for more guidance from the FTB to be sure. AB 194 also allows taxpayers to claim the 2020 and 2021 Main Street Small Business Tax Credit on an amended personal or corporate tax return. We cover all of the most important California tax legislation at Spidell's Federal and California Tax Update seminars and webinars. You can see a full list of topics plus available dates for live webinar and in-person events at caltax.com under the Seminars and Webinars tabs. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidell's California Minute.